Texon, Texon, Kung King King King. Konten Hogat Legacy Part 24 Ya Oke okay. Let's go Part 23 kemarin cuman keliling-keliling nyari landing platform ya Kali ini Langsung aja continue empat thumbnail yang perlu saya ganti seperti biasa thumbnail itu nanti kalau sudah selesai karena dadakan saya nggak tahu judulnya apa nih buat saya baru kasih thumbnail dan judul kita coba game sini kita akan uh, manual atau oh, kemarin jam 10 malam oh, pas banget Kali ini suara uh, saya sudah jelas karena pakai sound card, ya, Ventyon, dan grafik walaupun saya main di low end pakai mod, jadi kayak main di high end, gak apa-apa. Bukti ciri main di low end, lihat loading ya, macet. Dia harus di begini, itu Windows, terus gini di klik, jalan lagi dia, Hah? Alright. Kemarin kita di ada pencet. Kita di room of requirement. Room of requirement saya ini temanya tema alam ya karena saya sangat suka dengan alam. Sebenarnya alam itu hapal pop ya bukan reason kok. Tapi ya, kan? Saya senangnya alam kok. Oke, kita ke luar dari sini ngapain kita lihat quest quest di sini ada misi utama yang dasar of mine and it all book jangan dulu ya kita misi Sebastian aja mungkin ini kita dipelajari di Imperio nih in the shadow of time kalau ini ini misi dari Nats Neti ya ini ini Dragon misi dari Kopi Sebastian aja kita di belajar ini peri. suara petirnya ya kuat huh. ini sebenarnya saya sebelum ini pengen ngonten drone tadi nyoba drone terbangin uh, milik uh, SCRC ya SCRC F11 Pro ini lupa saya malah langsung konten ini ah ada nggak apa-apa lah oke okay. oke okay, karena di saya jadi gabungan campuran ya tapi masih satu tema yaitu hiburan entertainment jadi ya, masih masuk game ya, terus drone atau menggambar atau kajian tangan masih masuk entertainer kan entertainment ini ya, ada ada harta nih suaranya dia tidak bisa merendam mungkin saya settingan OBS nya nggak tahu sih ya. gimana gitu bisa merendam suara yang terlalu kenceng saya udah coba di sini ini kan deket mic dia kenceng kalau di sini hai sebelas hajar sebelas setna tidak 
How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Kalau be home for the holiday. Away, High Wing! Away!
telling what lies in wait for me in there. You're here. Good. Hello, bro. Come on, bro. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Okay, Don't a... start. Accio! Opening all of these is tempting. Revelio! Accio! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. This room is taller than it looks. Akio! Incendio! Akio! Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Revelio.
en serio. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. The pulsar. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Rebellion. All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about Cassidy's and expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be Rebellion. fine. Rebellion. Rebellion. Incendium. Rebellion. This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. <sighs> There's something here by the altar. Rebellion. Did you hear that? We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Rebellion. Accio. Repairer. Revelio.
What did you find? Bombarder! We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. That's a lot of bone rattle.
Incendio! Bombarda! If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. Guardian Leviosa! Leviosa! Revelio! Glacius! Reparo! Revelio! We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Akio! I need to find a safe way across. Lumos Accio Lumos Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Revelio Wingardium Leviosa Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Repair it. Glacius. 
Revelio. Bombarda. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Uh. Uh. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa.
Wingardium Leviosa. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. The student meant... You've done it! I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperio's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Rebellion. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Accio. Hmm. 
Hmm, this looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Wingardium Leviosa. That worked. Keep going. Akio. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Incendium. Rebellion. Incendio. A mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Rebellion.
Incendio. Depulsor. Revelio. Incendio. Compulso. Akio. Revelio. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Rebellion. See why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. For a moment there, I thought that'd never end. Revelio. Incendio. Dead end. Revelio. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Accio. Revelio. Sebastian. The relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. 
For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous! The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. Nice. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. What happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a... 
I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Uh-oh. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Belkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. My sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. 
You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Rebellion. Rebellion. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian?
Ini sangat keras, Ru. Tadi saya pasang bawa air. Mana ada air? Tidak ada. What are you up to now? So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mata. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no, a person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Incredible. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle, but she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We can allow your mother to stop us. 
We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Travel broadens the mind. We had a ghoul in our attic. Go! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Good 
having the ministry band under a You can stop a thief in their tracks. <laughs> One never knows when society will be thrown. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Tales of Beetle the Bard still ring true today.
Off on another adventure, are we? Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh. That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news.
nonton, salam subscribe, balik dan subscribe,